What's going on guys? Viva the Hunt here with all the cheese and everything TCG back with a Bakugan Pro review here reviewing the Sync Armor Elite starter set. Now, um, I've already had one of these before, but uh, recently I've been out of town for work in San Antonio, so I decided to look around and ended up finding one of these, so some good goodish to some cards. Again, here's the back right here. Get yourself how core. Uh, Aqua's Hawker Ultra, I believe it's Exilator, uh, Darkest Exilator, and um, Arulus Simoga. Simoga is the Bakugan made for, I think it was Simo, during the, um, <clears throat> one of the Invitationals or Championships, I can't really remember off the top of my head, but yeah, um, I guess we can get into it real quick. Now, for many of you who don't know, um, what's it called? Uh, for many of, you don't, many of you guys who don't know, this is actually, uh, an Armored Elite starter set, but it's um, it has a lot of Fusion Force cards in here. In here, that's the main reason why I didn't get it, especially this this specific Fusion Force uh, set. That's where it is. Put that aside. Grab this one out. Let's see. Don't use a remember, but. Here is the Zillatar in his darkest Zillatar in his ball form. And Simoga, or the Simoga in his ball form. Let's go ahead and let's start with the cores, I guess. Got um, a green fist, negative three, and on shield, negative 200. Got another orange shield, plus 50, plus one. Plus 200 orange shield or yellow shield, whatever. Plus 100 darkest and aquas and a plus three damage. Actually, it's a plus 100 regular and then a plus three for aquas and darkest. Same thing for this one, plus 100 B and then for darkest and pirates, plus three damage. Here's the ball form of how cars you already see. You remember seeing it? Yeah, you saw it earlier. Yeah. I'm bad at rolling, but there that goes. <laughs> this move is right here. Just so you can see them, you know? Give us some kind of effect. Let's uh, see Arla Simoga. I don't really use him, but my girlfriend, she uses him a couple times. He's, he's pretty decent. Pretty. Oh, well, that's odd. Must have rolled too fast, but here he is. Awesome. Looks great. 700 B power again. Pretty strong for, um, you know, for Bakugan these days. Looks a little tar. Maybe I can get this one finally. You know how, it, how these things go. His Bakugan form. There we go. Boom. I kind of don't really like the color scheme of the darkest Auxilitar. He just looks really slimy, if that makes sense. <laughs> you, you catch my drift. All right, well, that's the box gone. I guess we can get down to the part that everybody really, really wants this thing for. The cards, yeah. Yeah, people really want it for the cards, to be honest. Let's be, people really just want it for the cards, let's be honest. The reason why people really even want this thing is they don't want it for anything else. Here's your character cards. Got Hall Core with one damage. Needs a green fist and a yellow shield. Here's Simoga, 700 plus 300 with a yellow shield and plus four damage. That's actually really good. You know, if uh, we had better, well, we do have better um, Arliss cards that we've had before. That we we do have better Arliss cards that are coming out later with uh, Fusion Force. And Shields of Destroyer, and here's Exiltar, 100 B power, and 10 damage. That's really good for damage decks. Um, yeah, um, these Bakugan are actually pretty good. Um, in some cases, I wouldn't say the best, but um, they definitely have their their uh, they definitely have their niche placement in the game. Now let's get to the deck now. And the first card is obviously <laughs> the first card. Oh, 
the, the very first card is the card everybody's gonna be uh, scared about. Howling Shell Bomb, plus 1000B. And if another card causes you to reveal this card, you may play it for free for, for five uh, energy. Let's see, the two of them, oh my goodness. I already have uh, two, so that completes my set. We got the uh, Occurring Evade, zero cost for stopping Darkest and stopping Aquas. We got a Nocturnal Shift, uh, it costs three, four. Stopping non, um, Darkest and non, uh, Aquas. And then a Sync, if you reveal a card for, uh, in your hand for, uh, cost three or less. Or I think it's just that it's three, three costs to draw a card, and then a player must discard a card. I thought that card was a lot better, a lot better than, <laughs> than previously. Washed away, and you get a back of your, that's actually pretty good when I'm trying to negate, uh, Glimmering Glaive. Aqua Soldier, plus six damage, um, and a plus two draw for full cost. Got another one of those Aqua Soldiers. Bakugan's new trick, uh, draw three for five dam or for five cost. Uh, probably not gonna be using that. Got another one right there. Oops. Got Aqua Freeze Beam, one cost for plus 200, and uh, sink it if you reveal this card in your hand. You may reveal a card in your hand that costs five or more damage, or five or more cost to, uh, for five. 500 instead. Another one of those as well. Baku Spice uh, costs 2 plus 400. And if this Baku Guard has a Baku Gear attached to it, plus 3 Frost Strike. You get two of those going right here as well. Oh, there's the other Washed Away. Oh, I don't remember there being um, two Washed Aways when I had um, gotten my my first uh, my first set, but um, I may have been mistaken. Uh, I may have been mistaken. Who knows? Darkest, uh, darkest energizer. Cost three if this car, this king card can be attached as your character's a second box of gear plus three hundred B and zero damage. Is that right? Not good at all to be honest. Hydronite breaker cost six cost and uh, this card can be attached to his character's a second box of gear. And when it's when you play this, negate an action card, plus 400 uh, B and 1 damage. Um, to be honest, I'm not too sure about this card. This card can be good with sync, but uh, it's just... You might as well be just running, um... What's it called? Uh, Binding Ink, man. You, you honestly just might as well be running that. Uh, Aquas Free Slide, 5 cost for 5 B, 5 damage, and 5 Frost. I can see what they're doing there. Bakunami, 3 cost for plus 800... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty high there. Darkest or Dark Disaster, two cost for plus three hundred B and three damage. Uh, and sync, you may reveal this card in your. Um, you may reveal a card in your hand that costs five or more to draw one. There's two of those. The Baku Spy, six cost to look at the top card, five cards in your opponent's deck. You may play the non-flip card among them. Put the rest back at the bottom of their deck in a random order. Hmm, I wonder how that goes. I might have good, some good some good implications. We'll see. Dark Resilience, three cost. And if you have flip three or more cards this attack, stop non-darkest and choose a player to discard a card. There's two of those. Magnus looks really, like, uh, he looks really uh, older. <laughs> Falling Strike. Uh, this is your enabler for that um, Howling Shell Bomb. Uh, yeah, this is... You may have plus 100 B for and sync. You may reveal this card in your hand. To, uh, you know, five or more costs for plus five more damage. It's for zero, that's amazing. This is this is amazing. You you know why that's amazing. Brutal barrage when this card plays and has no cards in your hand. Plus 500 and five damage. Instead, or is that added for the two 200 B and the two damage? Not too sure. Darkest bark. Two cost for uh, 500 B. Punishing pause, five cost for 1,000 B. If this card has a Baku, if a Baku guard has a Baku gear attached to it, plus five damage. Got two of those. Darkest fist, this is like the worst card ever. Six cost for plus three, 13 damage. This is bad. <laughs> Baku spring, plus a uh, one cost for a plus shadow strike and one draw. That's, that's decent enabler, I believe. Um, can be a better you know, better cards, but it depends on how where this game goes. Darkest Slayer, one cost, 200 B and two damage. Get two of those, and then you get one more Darkest Bark. Well, um, I guess we'll go start with the few.
few strategies that I know. I'll tell you my opinions on these. Um, uh, first and foremost. First and foremost. I mean, like, seriously, come on. First and foremost. Let's get these out of the way. First and foremost. Boom. Falling strike. This is an obviously a three of in any darkest in aqua stack I mean, any any darkest player who's playing sync are going to be playing you're, you're going to be wanting to be playing this card and aquas because then you have the ability to run the howling shell bomb the zero cost and just being being able to reveal howling shell bomb for the plus 100 or plus 1000 is just it's insane i, I don't i don't see why um why there wouldn't be another reason to pick that to use that card um obscure and evade that being said about what I just said about the Howling Shell Bomb, the um, Skilling Evade for zero cost is probably one of the best, um, you know, one of the best things in here besides that. Um, I mean, it's it's going to be able to stop everything that in this deck you know, that you're going to be worried about. So, I mean, it's a very, very, very niche and very, um, you know, let's, let's, um, it's a, it's a thing that you might, might cover your grounds. It might be a power creep, but at this, I think it's a card worth, uh, you know, taking a gander at. You never, you never know what's going to happen with situations like that. Washed away. Now with washed away, um, obviously negating those Baku gears is going to be important. There's a couple new Baku gears that are coming out from both Aurelis, and those gears are just crazy. Stopping Glimmering, Glimmering Glaive obviously is going to be, you know, a big help. Uh, you're not going to really want. To keep those uh, blocker gears on on, you know, on the field because, well, I mean, why why would you want to have your opponent just steal cores? You know? Um, if you're gonna be running also just you know, Aquas in general, Aquas Freeze Beam is another good enabler for the sync uh, mechanic. It's pretty much almost a free enabler for uh, you know, the Howling Shell Bomb. All right, another um, Gander, another um. Card that you might want to consider in this is going to be a uh, Baku Spy. Now, now um, I'm, I mean, Baku Spy actually is just a very high card, cost card, six cost to just look at the five cards your opponent's deck and kind of like, you know, change them in any order. Now, given the high cost, most players aren't going to really want to play this. But I, in my opinion, if you're going to be running Darkest and Aqua, you're going to be either running Ventus or you're going to be either running Pyrus in my opinion. And I run Pyrus. And so you're going to be playing Dance for free all day and being able to, to reveal this off of Dan or an Air Zero is going to be, you know, unstoppable to be able to change your... It's going to be able to change your opponent's game plan and you're going to be able to see what your opponent's doing and what, what they might have for you. So, you, you know, you're going to be able to at least plan for that and change the, the outcome of that for you to be able to actually go forth and make a W, make some damage, and you know how that goes. People say that it's gonna be they need a ban list. I personally don't believe there needs to be a ban list. I do believe though, if there's any other cards in the future, they're gonna be stopping this to the sync mechanic, or if not, they're releasing other cards to stop certain parts of the sync mechanic, or just in general. I don't think that any of these um, these are gonna be really worried about. We're gonna need a ban list per se. A uh, ban list in actual competitive uh, games, in my opinion, uh, ban lists are you know. They're not really healthy for uh, competitive card games that are obviously so very young, cause like Bakugan. Uh, if given for like Yu-Gi-Oh or you know, Magic the Gathering, ban lists are obviously required. There's many many cards that have not been updated to the, um, to, you know, to certain Reddit or certain mechanic standards. So obviously, um, having a ban list is very important for that those card games. Also, the thing with with uh, Konami and um, Magic, uh, I actually don't know who, who runs Magic, but uh, in my, with, with Yu-Gi-Oh, per se, what I know is that uh, Konami actually doesn't uh, make a ban list, per se, for certain cards that are um, a problem. They'll make a, they'll make a ban list for product that has already been kind of, um, uh, you know, sold, sold out, or uh, used a lot. It just goes to show that older mechanics of the game of the game are obviously going to be more OP or more concerning because based off of those very little um, foreground or foresight of the, the near future of the game. So ban lists for Bakugan, in my opinion, are just, just not the way to go. Um, 
I think power people handle it very, very easily. Like I said, they can uh, they can easily release a, a Bakugan with a card in it, and they would have no issues with being able to control the, the meta game through that way. We buy Bakugan anyways, based on certain you know certain reasons as that. So, well, guys, comment your opinions below on the sync uh, build of Bakugan. How do you feel about this uh, Armored Elite structure deck? Will you be picking it up? Are you afraid? Um, what are your opinions? Just you know, uh, leave a comment if you know your opinion on this structure deck. And well, guys, hope you have a blessed day. I'll see you next time.